Hello there friends, hope you can hear me okay. Welcome to this uh, new video. I did say I'll be travelling taking a short break over to Ireland again. So I'm at Gatwick Airport. You can see international arrivals there. Want to get to departures. There we go. Don't want to film directly into people's faces. But what I'll do, I'll do a little bit of a video tour for you. I'll be going over to Dublin Airport, over to Kilkenny and then I'll record a little bit whilst I'm down there. If you can't hear me when I'm reviewing the footage and it's too noisy, obviously I'll be doing a bit of voiceover. Okay, so let's get into this video. So hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now in a less busy part. These are the check-in zones. I always kind of like looking at these check-in zones. Gatwick Airport, southeast of England. It's between London. Go and look at the flight simulator world map. Go over London City, sort of main down London area. Then just go south of there between that and the south coast. It's quite a busy airport. I believe Heathrow's the busiest. This is the one that takes you to places like Ireland, Italy, France. Lots of cheap airlines, Ryanair, EasyJet, that type of thing. I typically fly out of here quite a lot, or I meet people. I've got a friend in Ireland I come and meet, and a friend in Italy that comes used to come and visit me at least. She's not been for a while. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I quite like Gatwick. It's it's a no fuss uh, 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 oh airport rather. Uh, Heathrow's a little bit busier, but Dublin is probably one of my all-time favourites, so I'm looking forward to getting back there. Okay, listen, I can't waste any more time. <laughs> I've got to go and get checked in, so I'll be back later. Okay, take two with this shot. <laughs> there was an announcement that just completely spoke over me and it went on for a while. Uh, I'm in the departure. I'm actually just on my way to the departure gates, checking gates. Not sure I'm going to be able to record in there, but this is a nice vantage point. I'm upstairs from the sort of check-in areas where you're checking big luggage. A bit of a quieter area. Yeah, it's quite a nice little airport is Gatwick. So it's quite a large one as well. Obviously various different runways. This one should be just straightforward. Straight in, is it North Terminal I'm going to to Ireland? I believe so. Then straight onto the aircraft. We'll see how much I can record once I'm in the terminal and near the actual aeroplanes. That'll be fun. Yeah, it's quite nice. Not as good as Dublin. I really enjoy Dublin. It's just got a very happy feel. But it's okay to travel through Gatwick. Okay, listen, I'd better go and check in back later. Okay, I'm going to have to raise my voice a little bit just because it's a bit louder in here. I always like this, well, not really like it because it, it makes me dizzy, but this sparkling floor I'm through check-in now, just going through to the departures. Next to the duty-free cigarettes, so there'll be people popping in and out of there. Going to Ireland, you don't get duty-free, of course, so I can't get any of them. I don't smoke anyway. Ah, would love to maybe a drink or two, but uh, not a massive drinker anyway, either. So that's all good. Yeah, the sparkly floor walking through this makes you dizzy. I think it's designed for that purpose. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy spinning you around. So there we go, I get through the sparkly floor part and into where the aircrafts are all based and hopefully I can recall a little bit there for you. Okay, I'm at departure gate one. This is not my gate. <sighs> oh, there's an aircraft just landed there. Can we get zoomed in on him? Hopefully this comes through. There you go, look at that. I think it's just landed and turning off by the looks of things. Uh, let's zoom back out, give you a view of the sort of apron and airport. There's another aircraft coming into land. Might capture him. I've got to be quick now. My flight departs in about 20 minutes. Don't want to miss it. My friend will be most disappointed. But I thought, well, I've got a chance because it's going to be busy at the gate, uh, gate three. To Dublin, it's always busy. I don't really get a chance, and it's noisy. There we go. All the different aircraft lined up. There is an Air Lingus beside me here. There is indeed. 
Did that aircraft? Oh, he's landed. Ah, oh, I missed him. There you go. He's down, landed. Never mind. Get him, see him coming in, braking. Hopefully. Do brake, chop. Anyway, okay, you've seen that. I'm going to zoom right back out now, just so you can get an overview of the apron. Not the best camera work from Hudson. And throughout this video, I'm sorry for the audio quality. It's through the camera. There's no microphone plug-in to this camera. When I record in this camera at home, I plug in my computer mic just to give me superior audio. Here, I don't really have much of a choice. There you go. A quick zoom around off the apron at Gatwick just so you get a good idea. The runways are just ahead there. So there we go chaps, on to gate 3, better get on my flight. Okay chaps, very noisy, maybe a poise off there. Anyway, we're in Dublin Airport, that's the aircraft we were on, Dublin Airport's ahead of us there. There's a guy stood there looking at me so I can't record for too much longer, otherwise I'm going to get taken away and put in Irish prison. If you can't hear me, I'll put a voice over, but let's go into the airport. So you can probably still hear me. I thought I'd record this part. If you come to Dublin, it's got one of the longest blooming walkways from the aircraft to the baggage claim or exit or whatever <laughs> that I've come across yet. It's really a quite quite a long way from yeah departing and when you sorry getting off the plane to get into the exit and the same way when you're checking in and going to the aircraft <laughs> give yourself plenty of time otherwise you'll be sprinting trying to make your aircraft there you go nice long walkways quite a few aircraft have come in so okay I'll see you in the airport for proper okay so here you go chaps rather than be inside it's a bit noisy outside I'm gonna have to speak a bit louder again because the traffic next to me it's just the airport traffic. Dublin Airport from the outside, you can see the distinctive buildings there of Dublin Terminals. That Terminal 1 or 2, I'm not even sure what terminal I'm, I'm in, I've just come out of one. Terminal 1 I've just come out of, so that'll be the second one. Just going to go over there to get something to eat and then get a bus to kill Kenny. That was a loud jet engine. Anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, so if you're coming to visit and you get hungry, which you likely are off the aircraft, come over to Wright's. It's like a food store, just as you're coming out of both terminals. So we get there, Wright's, big food store, lots of things you can buy in there. Snacks, well, I usually buy myself a chicken burger, usually wedges with it, mayonnaise, and a big drink there. That'll do for the coach journey. I've got a three hour coach journey to Kilkenny. But yeah, and then you come and sit in the cafeteria area. It's something I've always done every time I come to Kilkenny. Trying out to capture people. There you go, Wright's Food Fair. That's changed name recently. But that's been there for quite some time. So just trying not to capture people again. So there we go. I'm going to enjoy the burger. Get the coach to Kilkenny. And yeah. I'll probably see you either on the coach or waiting for it, but let me eat now and I'll catch up later. Now then, I'm over in the coach park, basically, uh, just outside the airport, which is there. And in that building now as well, that right shop, the, the, the food shop. So it's basically the first building you should get to when you arrive at the airport. Lots of coaches, lots of buses. Now to get to Kilkenny, it's either Bus Eileen or JJ Kavanagh bus. Or Kavada, I say, I think they say Kavanagh over here. It's Kavada in the, in the UK. Uh, JJ Kavanagh bus used to stop there. Well, actually, originally, it stops around a corner. You just go around where the church is here, around this building, and there's, there's more cultures around there. Then they changed it last time I was here and it stopped in the main sort of bus terminal here. Now they've gone and changed it back. You can see how the light is fading, by the way. It's only about quarter to four now. But there we go, we are in December. Just give you more views of the building. Let's not move too quickly for you. More, build, more views, rather. It's a church I've been to once or twice whilst waiting for a coach. And there we go. From uh, just around the corner, I'll get the JJ Cabinet. It's a coach, so it's quite comfortable. 
And I may or may not record. I'll try and record some footage on the coach. Let's go and catch it. Okay, chaps, just while I have a chance, these are the kind of typical coaches. Certainly for JJ Kavanagh, it's wonderful, wonderful luxury. Just sitting there for a few hours uh, watching the beautiful country. So it's going to get dark outside. You can see it's sort of twilight now. So I won't be able to see too much, but lots of pretty lights and little towns upon the way. Which I won't be recording, but just while the bus is empty, we're going to go into Dublin first, and that's when it starts to get busy. No doubt it will pretty get, probably get pretty full up. Hope you can see with the light at the moment. We just about see in after. So there we go, that will be typically what you expect if you're travelling on to one of the counties. And it's, yeah, it's quite a nice journey, so I'll see you when I get there. So here I am now in County Kilkenny, and between two small towns, there's Dunamegan that way and Kilmegani, which is where I used to live, is that way. Can I zoom into those hills over there? Just about, you've got like hills and a few mountains in that direction as well, lovely part. Looks like the sun's starting to come out again, that's good because I want to go for a walk to Dunamegan. Yeah, and basically this is her little house, my friend. And these types of houses are pretty common, these one-storey bungalow types houses are quite common. And a lot of them are actually built by local people as well, which is great. It's got a lot of ground, big forest and wood beside her here. That goes very deep, you can go for long walks in there, see lots of wildlife. Big gardens, lovely little area. Very different to the UK, I've got to say, to England. And yeah, lovely part, very isolated, like I said, on either side. I'll put something down in the wiki, a sort of little map or uh, description of County Kilkenny. Either side, it takes you probably a good five, ten minutes to get to the, to the next house. It's freezing cold in both the UK and Ireland at the moment, so my hands are shaking. I do apologise. And there's cars passing by. Right, anyway, what I'll do, I'll go for a little walk and show you more. Okay then, how's this? Just going for a walk. <laughs> on the road, basically, there's no pavements around this part. You just gotta walk on the road. And you can hear cars coming up and down. There's my view at the moment. Road one way. Lots of lovely countryside either side. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you. I'm just going down to the nearest town to me, to the house. It's probably a good, like I said, 10, about 20 minute walk maybe. Oh, depending on how quick I can walk, I better pay attention because if a car comes zooming by, I've just got to step to one side. But like I said, you can generally hear them. Let's get on the other side. It's very bright on this side. Just to give you a little bit more of a view there. Well, listen, I'll keep walking down. When I get to a point of interest, I'll bring you back. And there we go, chaps. This is what it's all about, isn't it? It's a low setting sun. I've just got to be careful. That beautiful, untamed countryside all around us. Car passing by, you can hear how fast the cars go. I do have to be careful. Just give you that view though. It's kind of views that I really miss from this part. Hopefully the camera's picking it up because of the sun. I can't find any setting to help that with the camera, but never mind. Beautiful. Dun & Megan is a little bit down from here. Uh, several more metres down the road, not many. You can start to see the houses and a little bit of a build-up. <laughs> a little bit of a bit, a little bit of a build-up for where I am. My lips are a bit chapped, it's quite cold. Beautiful, loving the scenery. Let's carry on, I'll come back later. Okay, oh well, the car's just about to pass by me, but no, never mind, it'll be okay. <laughs> Get my lips talking. We're in Dunamagan. Little town, probably the closest town. You can see the lights fading. It's 
So it's a bit, of, a bit more of a built up area. Houses close together. Love these little Irish bars. Look at that. Doesn't that remind you typically of an Irish bar? Lovely, lovely. So what I'll do, let, let this car pass by. Oh, it's a truck. Never mind. Good memorials on the wall there, the pictures. Lovely. So that's typically what they'll do here. They'll have a bar, a lounge bar, and a grocer next to it, actually inbuilt in the bar. And it's quite good. There's one famous place, and I'm not going to remember the name of, name of it. Let's just go up here. Now there's more cars. Isn't that typical? As soon as I start recording, there's going to be more cars passing by. Of course, statue there. Very, very, very nice. Try and capture as much as this as I can. The light's good. So I'll just walk up the street in Dunhamagan. There is a corner shop here and I can't find it. I've been here a few times. Uh, maybe I'll just ask somebody. Friendly local people. Look at this. How's that for an old bar? I don't think it's open now. But you never know. These old places sometimes are still open. It looks like it's not boarded up so it could be open at night time. Wouldn't that be atmospheric to drinking? Lovely, lovely. So that's it basically, it's just a small town. There's various houses spread back. I've got a good friend here, uh, Martin. If you, if you ever watch this, just saying hello. I don't remember your house number. <laughs> uh, there's more cars coming down, I don't want to film them. And yeah. Oh, there's a lot of cars coming down, never mind. Just have to look innocent. Oh, I'm, I'm just recording, it doesn't really matter. Local Catholic church there, quite a big one. Used to go to that when I was down here. It's just for... Yeah, it's just a church that serves all the local people in the area. And there we go, so you get the idea. So I don't want to look like a complete tourist. More houses towards the back there. Kind of like estates, I guess you could say. Small estates at the back. Typical sort of rural Irish town, lovely to see. Listen, I'm gonna to have to get a move on because it's gonna get dark quickly here. So I'll get back and I'll come back with a different view of Ireland. Okay, so we're in Waterford now. Just got myself a interesting hot chocolate there, giant marshmallow, the biggest marshmallow you'll, <laughs> you'll ever see. So it's more like a meal but not complaining. And I've got a lovely Irish man next to me. This is my friend Martin. So hello Martin. How are you doing? Everyone out there in James's land. Lovely, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, we're just in Waterford. We're gonna go, this is a cafe, uh, what's it called? Loco Lock, Lock, or something, I believe. There's the logo. Just gonna drink all our drinks and then we'll go to Waterford Centre. See you in a moment. Okay chaps, this is my last day here actually, my last evening. It's only about three o'clock but the sun's going. We're in Waterford. Really wanted to get to Kilkenny but unfortunately Kilkenny is a little bit of a distance from where I'm staying and we've come to Waterford to get some meals. So this is a largish Irish city. Beautiful. I'm just showing you part of it now. This is just a car park in, in fact. But you can see the various different buildings. Hopefully you can get a flavour of it. The blue house ahead there. Buildings and nice little sort of river running through with bridges there. Charming little place. Let's get more. T We're going to some kind of Christmas fate here or display. So that should be interesting to see. Well, there you go. Just thought I'll show you that. Let this car pass by so she doesn't think I'm filming. That's better. You never know how people will react. I'll just show you a little bit behind there, just so you get the full flavour of it. And what we'll do, we'll walk on. I'm just with a couple of people. You saw Martin before, hopefully. If I keep that in this video, I'm just with a couple of friends. We'll walk on and I'll film more. So just a little bit further up, I couldn't resist. That's some kind of shop, building, museum. This is Waterford. Somebody from Waterford seeing this corrects me. The big sort of castle thing. Lovely though, isn't it? Just thought I'd capture that for you. Uh, a, a boat, a ship model there with Christmas lights on. Very nice. 
lovely little buildings. And let's just turn you to the front, let's not record people, but you got sort of the Waterford seafront there, and my friends don't want to be in the video, so they're quickly disappearing. <laughs> and the street ahead, eh? a lovely street ahead. <laughs> so yeah. Just a nice little part, isn't it? Just thought I'll have to capture this. I'm moving around quickly. <laughs> My friend was laughing now. She really doesn't want to be in the video. Uh, you just seen the back of them. <laughs> Sorry, Helmer. We didn't see you, don't worry. Isn't that wonderful? And there's a car just reversing out. I really don't want to turn the camera towards. I am very, very careful, chaps, as you notice, not to film in people's faces. Because I wouldn't like it, and I'm sure they feel the same way. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to turn slowly and just try and capture nobody. There we go. Just to give you the flavour. So I'll tell you what, it's quiet down this way. Let me take you for a walk. Film a little bit longer for you here. Try it as I can to keep this camera steady just so you get a flavour of this. Trouble is when you're recording you're not getting a flavour of walking down a street, I'm not, because I'm just looking at the camera. So I'm trying to do a bit of both here. It's a lovely place, look at this. Every, around every corner you've got a surprise. So Waterford is about 30 kilometres away from Kilkenny, so about 30, 30 k from what I saw when we were driving down. King of the Vikings there, that looks interesting doesn't it? I'll have to go and see that. Look at this. In some ways it's actually on par with Kilkenny, this place. Look at that. I'll just let you take in these sights as I'm recording. Isn't that fantastic? Giant sword of some sort, it's a tree trunk obviously. It's a carving from a tree trunk. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we are. So yeah, as this is my last evening, I'll give you all this bonus footage. Probably a lot more to come, so this could be a long video. Overall. But worth doing. Let me walk on, I'll come back with more interesting stuff in a moment. Well, this is a Christmas fete that's going on. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more. It's just a, it's just like a carousel in the centre of the town. But never mind. It's something. There's a few lights around as well, which is good. And it's something, isn't it? But here's a town centre. Pretty much like a. It's quite a busy town centre. I've got to say, lovely little shops. Lights fading, like I mentioned before. Chops. We're going to get, get something to eat soon. Oh, let's just move out the shop door. I can't really avoid catching people here. Oh, by the way, pennies. I think that's called, is that TK Maxx in the UK? Pennies, I think that's TK Maxx in the UK. So it's interesting to see a different name. So there you go, nothing much. I might just capture a little bit more of Waterford for you, but you're probably getting a good feeling for it from what I've shown you. I'll be back later. So a bit more filming. How's that for a colourful shop? <laughs> God, that's me. You want Christmas in Ireland? You want Christmas anywhere? Look at that. Just full of lovely different lights and this not all. Very mesmerising. And across, lovely decorations there. I try not to film people. Some kind of uh, market going on here. I might try and record that if there is. If not, you know what's happened. Fun fairs in the distance. Lovely streets. Up and down, failing light. Well, let's get you back to those lights. <laughs> Isn't that great? There you go. We got some Christmas music playing next to me. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Okay, possibly some of, the, some of the last filming I'll do. There is a fair, and it goes quite far down. It's just a lot of it doesn't seem to be open. So House of Skelts are there. I showed you the carousels which are open. The lights are coming on now. It's looking very pretty, Waterford. 
Uh, there's kind of like a gingerbread Santa Claus station there which doesn't seem to be open but maybe it's open during the daytime. Let's just walk a bit, I don't want to capture people's faces so just to show you a little bit more you can see certain tents set up there. So it is quite a big showing, just a lot of it's closed, not open or it's, it's going to open at a later time. You can see the Christmas tree down in the distance there which is nice. You've got bands playing or it's going to open when it gets dark, we don't know. It's getting blooming cold, it's about zero degrees at the moment so we've just got to be careful not to be out for too long. But there you go. We're going to try and find something to eat eventually. I might be back. Now the lights come on, that's better. I'm going to get something to eat, let's just walk around the other way. Give you more film in there. There you go. So you're getting all the different sort of uh, Christmas things going on. Listen, I'll be back in a moment. So there you go, couldn't resist just the last of the sort of lights down in Waterford. Very nice. All sparkly, all shiny. Oh, and who do we have at Martin? Who are you waiting for? We're waiting for our friend Helma, <laughs> who's been in pennies for about three hours now, I think, so <laughs> yeah. So if you're hanging around this time next year, I'll be probably still standing here. <laughs> So you heard that straight from the horse's mouth there guys, yeah. if I'm not back doing my videos you know what's happened. <laughs> oh, but as you can see lovely lights all the way down, it does look pretty nice now. It'd be nice if a few more stalls were open. But uh, uh, we'll carry on waiting for Helmer Martin, yeah? Yeah, cheers James. <laughs> yeah. See you later guys. Welcome to the island. <laughs> so this is actually Cannon. It's where I get the bus from back to the airport. So Callan is the town I was living in for some time actually. It's the place I was living in as well, as well as Kilmagani. And a steps bar, great bar, great sports bar in fact. As you can see, very bright. You can see how frosty and cold it is. I was driving down here with my friend this morning through the fields from her house. Oh my goodness, snow and frost. It was like a Christmas postcard, in fact. It was minus five, by the way, when we were driving down, so extremely cold. Uh, it's just the way the UK and Ireland is at this time of recording. So I'm just going to wait for the bus. The bus will be coming from that direction to Dublin Airport, 8.30 bus. So we were up at the crack of dawn, quite literally, the lights just coming through. Hopefully you can see a bit of that though. It's a nice little town, Callum. It's got a super value there, which is nice. And an Audi, I think, or Lidl. I'm not sure which one it is. Just around the back there. Fish and chip shops down the road. It's only a small town, but quite a friendly town. And actually the office for work is behind super value. We, get, we have a little office behind there for work, where I used to work. So you have lots of good memories. Listen, I'll catch you at the airport. And here you go, chaps. This will be the last of my recordings for this particular trip from Gatwick to Dublin to Kilkenny to Waterford. Now at Dublin Airport, just giving you an overview of the apron in the Ryanair section. Look at the snow on the aircraft. Oops. I've just, just done something to my camera there. Hopefully it's still recording. Actually, on the last section when I was recording in Callan in the 5 minus 5, my camera froze, the lens wouldn't go, it wouldn't shut off. It scared me half to death, I had to remove the battery, insert the battery, it was fine. No. Lots of people, lots of announcers. Just a quick overview of the actual uh, apron there. I think with the opposite direction for the runways, but never mind, I'm just going to give you the Ryanair section there and they'll be taxiing out to the active runway. Quick look, let me just look behind me. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people behind me, I don't particularly want to record people. Uh, but there's hundreds, and you can probably hear a lot of chatter behind me. So a little bit more development. We've been sat at this blooming airport for about an hour or two. 
Ryanair aircraft are all lined up and nobody's boarding them. And there's no snow on the ground now, there's aircraft landing I can see in the background. But at least you're getting a view of some of the, kind of, of some of the runways. The runway is just a little bit ahead there. But yeah, look, they're just sat there on the ground. This is absolutely frustrating. I know I said goodbye to you. Uh, I don't know how much longer. It could be that this video may not be ended yet. If we don't take off, we're just waiting to hear if our flight's going to leave or if it's going to be cancelled because a number of flights have been cancelled. I mean, look, yeah, it's backed up. Are they prioritising? Other airlines, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. That's the way we are. If I get home, this will be my last recorded video. If not, you'll probably see more. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you soon.